Hello, I'm Leslie Poole. I am a somewhat shy 30 year old with curly brown hair <laughs> that I inherited from my grandmother. I love to laugh and have fun. I am from the big city of America's Georgia, which is in the same county as where former president Jimmy Carter is from and his wife Rosalind also is from. I'm also in the hometown of where Habitat for Humanity started and where Habitat for Humanity headquarters is. This is where Milton Fuller founded his dream of building houses for low income and impoverished families, communities, and countries. I have two very active little boys. <laughs> they are ages three and six. Um, together with my husband, we've been together for 10 years together with him and my two boys along with our cat purple we have a very loud chaotic and busy house but I wouldn't change it for anything I am currently a senior at Fort Valley State University in Fort Valley Georgia I plan to graduate in spring of 2016 with a BA in psychology I'm hoping to further my education and enter into the master's program that fall of 2016 to hopefully get my master's in rehabilitative counseling. Um, this is a, a field that's really near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'm hoping to focus my studies on trauma and trauma memories and particularly those people that have been through traumatic events in their lives and it's a way to help them gain back a piece of their self and for them to become independent to again to feel like they are a functioning member of society and have a place in that world. I got into this field and interested in this field because of my six-year-old. He was in March of 2014 mauled by a dog. He had extensive injuries to his left leg. They extend from thigh to ankle. His first surgery was six and a half hours. And include over 400 stitches. He had to, at the age of five, learn how to walk again and learn how to reuse his leg with such massive tissue loss. We spent the latter part of 2014 in physical therapy offices and wound care clinics and every kind of specialty doctor you can think of. And then we realized throughout the whole event that his psychological damage was just as great if not greater than the physical damage. The physical damage could be repaired with stitches and medicine and things of that nature but psychologically he was scared to go outside. We had to check doors and windows before we went to bed. He couldn't do things that other kids his age could do and go to the park and play and be outside. He was terrified but luckily through the hospitals, rehabilitative counselors, and through outside agencies, he learned to manage those fears and learn to have those memories in a way that helped him get over them and to help him learn how to heal. And because of that, we are able to go outside and play and swim and do all the fun things that six-year-olds like to do. So that is part of the reason I want to study rehabilitative counseling as my way to give back. So, I am so happy to meet all of you and I hope you enjoyed my introduction. So if you're ever in Americas and you see me, stop by and say hello and thank you.